Prime Time Glick with Jiminy's special guests, Dennis Miller and Jerry Seinfeld. I'm Adrian Van Voorhees, and am I the only one who needs a Glick fix? No! Ladies and gentlemen, Jiminy Glick. Oh, 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 no! Oh, I am not worthy! I am not worthy! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's fine. Wonderful! Oh my goodness, what joyful energy you're presenting me. I think you're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'd give you all a French kiss, but I just had my tongue pierced, and the warranty doesn't kick in till Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have the remarkable Adrian Van Voorhees Seven. <laughs> is this, or is this not one of the hottest bands on television? Rock and roll! <laughs> I love saying that. Adrian, why don't you introduce a band for us? It would give me great pleasure. Uh, right behind me here on winds and brass is Zoltan. Wonderful. Janos on the keys. Stanislaw back on primary skins. That's the drum kit. Yes. Over here on secondary percussion is Bela. To my immediate right, Carol on the mm. six string guitar. And of course, on the end, the lovely Ronnie. Truly gifted. And not a green card in the bunch. <laughs> and there's, oh, there she is. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Our own Miss Gathercole. She's been here for every show we have ever done. How are you today, Miss Gathercole? I am suffering from a yeast infection. Mm. <laughs> so much more information than I'd hoped. If you are not interested in my gynecological condition, then there is no reason for me to stay. <laughs> Please, Miss Gathercole, you're overreacting. You better sit your ass back down. Fornicate! <laughs> the elderly can be so sensitive. Now, where were we? There was something I wanted to talk about. Well, you were telling me about something that had made you very angry. Oh, yes, yes, I am angry. And I'll tell you who I'm angry with. A certain gossip columnist who shall remain nameless. Liz Smith. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. I can put up with a lot of things, but yellow journalism is something that I simply cannot abide. When you say that my teenage sons, Morgan and Mason, look like the Menendez brothers with hoof and mouth disease, I cry foul. <laughs> or... Uh, <sighs> when you were actually right. Would you rather have a Demerol free colonoscopy than see another one of my home movies featuring my 10 year old twins, Matthew and Modine? <laughs> Who, by the way, were named after the wonderful actor Matthew Modine. Because we're tremendous fans of that one performance he did in that movie. Gee, I wish I could remember the name of it. <laughs> you see, that's the problem with taking Ginkgo Bilobo. You take it for your memory, but then you can't remember what you. <laughs> Which one you're supposed to take it? It's the Catch-22 thing that they're always talking about that Mike Nichols tried to direct for a while. Like... Anyways, Adrian, what was I talking about? Liz Smith, sir. Oh, I love her! She's wonderful! We should have her on! And we'll be back with tonight's special guest after this commercial message. Coming up, Dennis Miller.